This is verse 6 of the 5th chapter, the Gospel of Matthew, in the midst of the Beatitudes, which are the introduction to the Sermon on the Mount. We've seen the first three of them, all of which tend to emphasize a state of personal humility, uh, to be poor in spirit, uh, to be mourning over a sense of personal bankruptcy, and of course, bankruptcy in others, and of course the meekness that we see in the preceding uh, Beatitudes, speaking of a teachable spirit, somebody who is willing in that state of poverty, of uh, brokenness of heart to be able to receive instruction. And now we shift to a somewhat more positive idea when Jesus now gives us the fourth of these, makarioi, same word of course, state of well-being, happiness, blessedness, so blessed. Again, the word is or are is implied here, a sin. Uh, would be here, but it's not necessary to make sense of it. So, hoi penontes. This is from penao. It means to hunger. Uh, normally takes the genitive. Here we're going to have the accusative, which is a little bit of a surprise. We'll see why in a moment. So, this is the idea of hungering, especially having a deep hunger, a craving for something. So, blessed the hungering ones. Present active participle, a masculine plural nominative, so it's the subject of the sentence implied here, those who are hungering, chi the connective, dipsontes, from dipsao, to thirst. So to hunger and thirst is the idea, deep longing for something, of course intended here in a figurative sense. Uh, what they're hungering and thirsting for is tain, this is the definite article, accusative, feminine. Uh, singular, so the uh, dikaiosunane, the righteousness. Ordinarily, the uh, genitive would be used, hungering and thirsting uh, for of something, you might say, like a bite of something. If I had an apple, I would take a bite of it, and then I would have had something of it. But here, it's the whole thing. This is hungering and thirsting for, and notice the definite article, for the righteousness, not simply for a general a sense of rightness, but really in some sense uh, a righteousness which is finally, at least impliedly, tied to God, the true source of absolute and perfect righteousness. So it's those who are hungering and thirsting, not simply for things to improve a little bit, but hungering and thirsting for the definitive and final, comprehensive and complete righteousness found only in God. It's uh, at least implied in the language here. Uh, and then Jesus gives the assurance, hoti, the conjunction, autoi, again the intensive use of the third person pronoun in the masculine plural, nominative because they themselves, and then kortas thesontai from kortazo, means to be filled. Uh, it's uh, often used in Greek literature to refer to animals eating to the point that they're filled or satiated. Uh, it's a rather strong word, and that's so uh, Jesus' promise here. They're hungering and thirsting for the true righteousness, and they themselves will ultimately be filled, will be fully uh, satisfied in the receipt of that righteousness. And of course, all of this is, in a sense, looking forward to the kingdom and to the uh, quality of life that is to be found therein. And Jesus will, of course, give us a lot more detail as to how these things happen in the ensuing conversation.